Okay, hello my students. Uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, today I'm gonna make a video on how to find tan inverse function. So in order to understand the, the function, uh, inverse tan function, it is better we understand what is tan function. So the tan function, I made two columns here. You see this, x, y, and the angles that have been taken are minus 90, minus 60, minus 30 degrees, you can see it all the way until 180. And they are written also in the orange color, that's uh, minus pi by two, because that's minus 90, minus pi by three, minus pi by zero, and so on, and you can clearly see until pi. The values of tan function, so I'm, I'm, I'm taking the easy one, tan zero is zero, 10 pi by 6 is root 3 over 3. So because it is root 3 over 3, this is root 3 over 3. But then I'm, I'm going to take an approximate value as 0 0.57. Even though the answer is 0 0.57, I just took 0 0.5. Uh, 10 pi by 3, that is 10 60 is a square root of 3. And square root of 3 is uh, 1.73, I round it to 1.7. Now, tan is undefined for 90 degrees because, uh, because of the definition. So, tan pi by 2 is undefined, so I'll say infinity, positive infinity. And then tan of 2 pi by 3, which is, uh, which is in the second quadrant, that is 120 degrees because uh, pi by 3 is 60, 60 times 2 is 120, so that's how you get in the second quadrant. 10 is negative, so you just kind of use a 10 of 60, which is minus uh, back to back to minus uh, minus root three, and then again five pi by six is 150 degrees. Uh, in the second quadrant, 10 is negative at 0 0.5, which is uh, minus root three by three, and again uh, 10 of 10 of pi is back to zero because this is zero. Also, I did take negative pi by six, negative pi by three. Uh, it's uh, covering all the. So this starts with negative pi by two here, negative pi by three, negative pi by six, negative zero, then pi by six, pi by three, and pi by two. So this is the half given all the way from negative pi by two all the way to plus pi. So basically, we need to know these fundamentals of the tan function. Uh, this has to be remembered. And this is negative pi by 2 is undefined. And negative pi, negative 60 is this one, negative 60. Uh, e is, is, in the, is in the fourth quadrant. And tan is negative there. That's why you get minus root 3, which is again minus 1.5. Negative pi by 6 is this one, which is minus 30 degrees. Again, in the fourth quadrant, 10 is negative, so minus 0 0.5, so the 10, 30 is. What I do is, this is the input and that's the output, so what I'm gonna replace this, so swap this and take another column, a relation, so I get another, let's call this as a relation. I'm not calling the function yet. So the green numbers, that the output is written right here, okay? And the input, the orange color is put on the other side. It's the same thing. So that means if this is y equals 10 of x, because you are swapping, so I have to replace x and y by x and y, see this? So in place of y equals 10x, this changes to x equals 10y. But once you get this, we need to write what is y equal. See this part? So we want to write y in terms of x, and that's how we say, okay, uh, 10 of angle is x, then this can be written as 10 inverse of this x. Or it is 10 of arc 10 x. So this is how we define the inverse function. So y is 10, not yet inverse, y equals 10 inverse of x is same as writing uh, y equals 10 x. So, now the question is, is this relation is a function? And you can clearly see 0 goes to 0 and 0 goes to pi. So two of the values go 
to this. Two of this value minus 1.7 gives, gives this. The same negative 1.5 is giving two answer. The same negative 0.5 gives four. So because this was the originally was a many one function, because these two things, these two things give you one minus negative 1.5. This two thing gives you negative 0 0.5. This input 0 and 5 gives you 0. So the best is we are going to take off this to make it a 1 1 function. The moment I take this off, this will go away. So that way, the whole, uh, the, in the column, the input output becomes 1 1. So I'm going to take this off. <coughs> so the input is taken only from minus 5. So the, so for this function y equals 10x here, the domain here is, so the domain here is taken from minus pi by two, x less than pi by two, and the range is, is, uh, you can see from negative infinity to plus infinity. That means this is the restricted domain here. So we restrict the domain of 10 and then the new, the new relation now, the domain will be whatever the range here is, which is minus infinity less than x plus infinity, and the domain and the, and the range will be minus pi by 2. So you just have to swap this. Now, this is going to be a function. This, this relation, this arc, 10 inverse of uh, 10 inverse of x relation e is going e is going e is going to be uh, e is a function because each of these values each of these values has uh, are related to or connected to only one y values so only thing that I I'm not taken in between let's say there was a point in between one here because if I put a one, this will be pi by four because uh, uh, because ten forty five. So why ten inverse of one is pi by four because ten forty five is one. And same thing I could have taken minus one here. And uh, let me use a green marker. Here. Yeah. So if this is one here, this will be pi by four. And if this is minus one, this will be minus pi by four. Okay, let's see. So that's the definition of uh, tan inverse function. So how do we define tan inverse of function is y is tan inverse of x if x is tan y. And then you restrict the domain of the tan function to minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. And that's how we get the... Now, how does the graph look like? So what I did is I tried to use a number. So watch this, watch this uh, table here. Pi by 6 is, uh, if you work out 3.4, then that's like 0 0.5, I think it's like approximately 0 0.5, pi by 3, 1, pi by 2, 1.5, square root of root 3, 1.7. So this, these are the things I'm going to use right here. So starting with, so let me do first is only this part, okay, 0, 0. So the first point is 0, 0. So on the x-axis, the main numbers, uh, the whole domain, this is my, from my negative infinity to plus infinity. So the domain of, <coughs> the domain of 10 inverse function is this one, and all the values on the x-axis, so this is the x-axis, right? So plus infinity, let me use the green color. The main first point is zero, zero. So why don't we mark this point zero, zero? So that's zero. Next is 0 0.5 is pi by six. So this is 0 0.5 is. Now here what I did is like 0 0.5, that's one. So pi by six is almost like 0 0.5 and pi by three is almost like one. You can see pi by three is one and pi by six is 0 0.5. So whatever the distance here, I'm almost gonna make it the same thing. So here, 0 0.5, which is root 3 by 3. See, this is this root 3 by 3. 10 inverse of who's, who's uh, 10 of what angle is root 3 by 3? And we know it is pi by 6 because 
1030 is root 3 by 2, which is root 0 0.5, so that's the point. So this point is uh, uh, root 3 by 2, so I, I put it like this, root 3 by 2 here, uh, 0.5 is 5 by 6, but it is because of root 3 by 3, so root 3 by 3 is 5 by 6, so that's the first point. The next is 1.7, which is, uh, that 1.7 is root 3 by uh, root 3, that's 1.7 because this is 1.5, that's pi by 3. And pi by 3 is right here, which is almost like a, uh, a 1, so whatever the distance you see here is the same thing. So this is 1.7 is 1. <coughs> then, pi by 2, infinity, so as, as x becomes a very large number, the value is almost goes to pi by 2. That means this one, there is a horizontal asymptote x. So at this point, minus 5. And the same thing is at minus 90. So this is, this is root 3. So this is root 3 is, is pi by 3. This is uh, root 3 by 3 is pi by 6. And then on the other side also, same thing, minus root 3 by 3, this one, minus root 3 by 3, which is almost like negative 0 0.5, that's negative 0 0.5, is minus 5 by 6. So, so this point is, this point is, uh, negative root 3 by 3 and minus 5 by 6 and then finally we have negative 1.5 which is minus root 3 that's negative 1.5 which is negative root 3 so this will be this point so pi by 3 is right here so I go all the way to there so this is negative root 3 is pi by negative pi by 3, okay? And now we can graph this using a beautiful graph. That means this is close, almost close to, so I'm gonna start this side. So this goes very close to the, this is y equals pi minus pi by 2, and the top one is y equals plus pi by 2. These are the two horizontal asymptotes where the graph of 10 inverse function comes near. So on this side it goes closer than this. So So that's the graph of, so this is y is 10 inverse of x, or we also write it arc 10 x. So the beautiful graph is the green color and that we are done. So the goal over here was just to show you uh, how do we define 10 inverse of function. So the 10 inverse function is defined from 10 function by restricting the domain of 10 only from minus pi by 2, pi by 2. So this is 1, 1, and then when you swap it, this also become 1, 1, and 1, 1 is a function. So this relation, when you do uh, swap it, becomes a inverse, and that's why we have that, and then you can clearly see how the graph looks like. But if you want to see the original graph, how that, that looks like, so we can do that also. Let's see if we want to graph this one. Remember, pi by 6 is like, a, this is like a 0 0.5, like it, this is almost like a 1, and this is, pi by 2 is like 1.5. So I can use that idea, and so 0, 0, so this point is the same, then pi by 6, 0 0.5 is 0 0.5, so this is, even though it, root 3 by 3, is 0 0.5, so this is 0 0.57, little bigger than uh, whatever that pi by 6. So 0 0.57, so pi by 6, 
is so 0 0.5 is pi by 6. So this part I'll be right here. Then pi by 3 uh, is 1.7, that is 1 is 1.7, 1 is 1.7. So this one now, where is 1.7? So this is like 1, this is like 0 0.5, so somewhere here is like this. And the same thing you can do right here. You see this is minus pi by six minus zero point by so minus pi by six is basically half is minus zero point five. So here and then minus pi by three. This pi by three is almost uh, like one. This one is minus one. So this one is minus one point seven. So one point seven will be these are like point five, point five, point five, somewhere here. So, uh, yeah, pi by 3 is correct. And you can see the graph of this. 10 function graph was, you see, remember the graph of 10 function is. So, this was the graph of 10 function. This is why it was, this is, let's call this the original function of uh, 10x, which is uh, 10x. This is. And this one I can call as gx, uh, which is the inverse of uh, tan. So this is, so these two dots, you see this one and this one, they are they are reflecting over the y equals x. You can draw a dotted line like this. So this is y equals x, and you can see the graph. The graph of y, the, the inverse function, is a reflection of the red graph. So even though we, I have taken this approximately, it does not look, I will show on the digitally how the actually the graph looks like. So if the red graph, so if this is the red graph, and this red graph is between, uh, remember, this one also has a, vertical asymptote which is 1.5 so this one is sorry where this part this is this is x equals pi by 2 because 10 of pi by 2 is undefined and this is also pi by 2 remember this is pi by 2 that's minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 this is minus pi by 2 so at this point there is a Vertical. <coughs> so this way, so yeah, it goes something like this. Yes. So hope that helps. <laughs> it looks too much of so a lot of confu lot of uh, too much of numbers here. Bottom line is like this: if this is the original graph restricted uh, domain ten function, which is this one. You can see this, this goes down minus infinity and it goes through this, it goes up. And then what you do is you reflect over the line y equals x and you get the green graph. So hope that helps. Now let's check this digitally how. So I'm going to show this the same thing. Let's work out digitally and check what's going on there. So, so the first thing what I did is I put here y equals so this is y first is 10x so I restrict the domain here minus pi by 2 x and this one mistake I did this should be less than strictly less than so yeah so this is restricted and you can clearly see the graph. This is the purple graph that you see. 
and minus pi by 2 i took multiple of 30 degrees so minus pi by 2 minus pi by 3 minus pi this is 0 pi by, and so on until pi by 2 these are the numbers which is uh, this is the root, root square root of 3 because the computer does not show in the radical form this is uh, <coughs> root 3 by 3 and 0 the same thing root 3 by 3 this is square root of 3 and undefined and clearly see the values of this we can easily mark them here this, this. So this is minus pi by three, that's the number right here. This is the 10 function, minus pi by six. And that's minus pi by six, then pi by three and so on. So what I do next is this whole thing is swapped. That's what I did in the, if you see over there on the thing, I swapped there and the, you can clearly see that right there. So the same thing, uh, try to understand digitally. So I also put x equals negative 90 and x equals positive. These are the vertical asymptotes that you can see the red lines. Then what I do next is I try to swap this and try to write the inverse function. That's the one, tan inverse. So when you do this, you can see that the this table, whichever is this one, is swapped. So you get this table. So when I use negative infinity, this is that negative root 3, then negative root 3 by because this one uh, is the same table that I did. If you see the table that you see, it's the same that one on the board. So it makes sense like this. So you swap it and you get those points, uh, the green graph, that's the inverse function. So this, this is the inverse function. So, and what I also did was to show that y equals pi by two, that the, the black color and y equals minus pi by 2 a horizontal asymptote for the green function with this now the, the good thing is just watch this uh, that i'm going to draw y equals x to show how this inverse exists so let me put y is x and put some color to it and change this to maybe orange look at this and make it color dotted here and that's that's where oh this is better see this and kind of let me see if i can zoom in so it goes off okay no i don't want to do that okay so the now let's check the points okay this one the purple color was the original right so if i click here this is negative pi by three is minus one point seven. that's that's negative root three and if you click on the other side this one is the, just a uh, swaps the numbers look at this so this input, this input you see as output here. So that's tan inverse of root negative uh, root three is negative pi by six. And the same thing, the purple color, if I click a little of this, uh, this one, let's see, this is pi by, so minus pi by six is uh, negative root three by three, but if I see the green one, that's the opposite. There you go, see, it's just the output. This zero, zero is the same as zero, zero. Then the purple color is, let's see, pi by six. Then that's for the purple color, which is pi by six. And you can see the green color. Uh, okay, it's checking the, I think I should, oh, there you go. So these are the opposite, right? They are reflection over the Y equals X, the orange color. Clearly it's done. This one, is pi by three, which is 60. 10, 60 is square root of three. And you can see the other one is square root of three, which is 1.7 is pi by three. It's a beautiful graph. So the goal of this uh, video is just to understand uh, 10 inverse function whose domain is negative infinity. So I'll take off this, the 10 function. Let me take this off. And I want to take off this one at the bottom also. And I don't want uh, the red color vertical asymptote. Let me take this. And the main thing is this graph. See this? Uh, why those purples are showing here? Okay, I have to take this off all the way. Okay, here it is. So this is the main graph now. 10 inverse function. Beautiful 10 inverse function. There you go. These are the values. These are the main. So there's only one thing missing. I can also put here as, I, I could have put here minus one. And you can see minus one is 
that's root 2 2 see uh, sorry so minus 1 uh, I think I might have messed up there so the minus pi by 4 pi by 4 is minus 1 see that's so beautiful there which I did not show and I can put here also at the end and put pi by 4 there you go one so you get additional points there so that's uh, that's for negative root 3 by 3 so okay not this one, I think I wanted to show for the other one in more size. I made a slight mistake. Uh, this one I want to put here, minus one here. I think that's better, minus one. And then I'll have to put here one. And so that's like 10 inverse of one is pi by four. So that's pi by four. So let's click on it. So this is a negative root three by two. This is negative pi by four. Can you clearly see that? Then this is negative pi by six, zero, pi by six, then uh, one, and then again, see, that's root three by, that's root three. So root three is pi by three, that one is pi by four, this pi by, this 0 0.5 is pi by six. So hope this helps to understand the whole graph. Thank you for watching and we'll see the next video I'll go to show how to find out cosecant inverse function. Thanks for watching. Stay, uh, wait for the next video, okay? Thanks.